Hello loves, welcome back to another video. So first of all, I would like to say I'm sorry if my voice is a bit thick today. I don't know what's going on with me, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. Now, this one was requested by Damaris Chavez. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is a Maya Chinen X listener. I hope I'm saying that right because I have no idea who this character is or what enemy he's from, which is why I am for the first time in, a, in ever reading somebody else's work and not my own. This story is called My Skateboard, written by at key underscore is underscore writing on Wattpad, so if you would like to follow them, their link will be in the description below. Oh, so before we start, I would like to point out that the um, pronunciations or the pronouns are for females, so I'm going to do my best to change them. Um, um, but so I, up, I would I'm like sorry. to say thank you, Demarius, for requesting this. And without further ado, let's get into the video. No, you can't. You're just a little kid. The mean kid said to me. Oh yeah? Watch me. I learned how to skateboard last year. I yelled back. Then show me. Fine, I will. I got on my skateboard. What are you waiting for? Let's race. I'll show you. Fine, fine. He got on his skateboard. Three, two, one, go! I did some tricks, seeing as he was about to race past me. I did an ollie over some stairs, and since there were a couple of flights of stairs, I jumped onto the rails. Surprisingly, the other kid, a couple of months older than me, did the same thing. We were also at the same pace. He was wearing a small green cat hood. Cat ears were black. I happened to stumble across him in the skate park. He was picking on me because he thought my black hood was weird. I don't know how it turned into a skateboarding race though. I got distracted because a kid older than us was watching us. He had messy red hair and was wearing a yellow hoodie with a jacket. I then tripped because of a distraction and the cat boy won. I went home and got mad. I just got distracted. That's not fair. This made me hate skateboarding. I quit skateboarding for a year. Then I almost completely forgot about skateboarding. Fast forward to you are 12 years old now. Reggie, I found your old skateboard. Wait, really? Yeah, I thought you threw it away. Just now, Reggie found my skateboard. He ran to me and gave it to me. Here, try it. I want to see you skate again. It's been years. Uh, okay, let's go outside. When we're outside, I got on my skateboard and did a basic ollie. Then I started to stroll around, Ricky following me on his skateboard as well. We went to the skate park and Ricky wanted to see if I still had that knowledge from seven years ago. He told me to do a couple of tricks. I aced them. Eventually, we left the skate park. A couple of weeks later, I got back into skateboarding and skated to school. Suddenly, at school in the hall, I saw a familiar face. I didn't know who they were. They saw me and went up to me. Crap, they must think I'm weird. I'm just staring at them. Hey, you seem familiar. Have we met before? No kidding. He looked like my old bully. Maybe. I'm not sure. You look like someone who was one of my rivals at five. It was quiet for a second. You. You're the one who I used to bully. We were enemies. He shouted. Oh yeah. I said boredly. Anyways, wanna race? See who's improved? Okay, I agreed. Then at five, let's meet up at S and race. Pretty sure he knew I went to S because he probably saw me there with Ricky one time. We went outside. Keep in mind, this was right after school ended. Once again, it felt like I had experienced this before. Like, deja vu. At five, I was wearing my usual black hoodie. It had wings at the back, like a bird and a neon blue skirt with leggings under it. Did, okay, so we're gonna say, and a neon blue, uh, and neon blue shorts with leggings under it. After the race, we ended up tying. It's either win or lose. I'm not sure. We tied, though. Everyone was either confused or just quiet. They didn't expect a tie. Most people bet on Maya because they've seen him skate before. They haven't seen me skate though. They didn't know what to expect from me. Third POV. 
A couple of days later, Reki's 13th birthday and the race in the first chapter in S, the people started calling Reki and Maya the animal combo because they were so in sync with each other and they were dressed based off animals. That's when a bond started to bloom. Okay, so I have no idea what happened, but I'm going to read the message that uh, I think the author left. So it goes, sorry I haven't been posting too often, hope you enjoyed this chapter. I originally wanted to put, that's when a flower started to bloom, or that's when the, a relationship started to form, but I settled on, that's when a bond started to bloom. <clears throat> Key. Okay, so maybe the story goes back to when... I'm so confused. Maybe the story goes back to... Chi-chan versus Reiki. Chi-chan, who won? Oh gosh, okay. Oh, okay, so... Okay, I, I understand. So, I went back, um, I think the story ha- like, I think I read, like, chapter 4 or 5 without reading, like, the first chapters, but I'm confused, because I don't know who Reiki is, and he keeps, like, calling, like, you Reiki, but it also, like, calls somebody else Reiki, so, like, I'm just super confused, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, yeah, my mom has company over, and so I'm gonna go say hi, because I haven't seen them in, like, forever. Bye, loves!